Hi everybody, it's Miss Cynthia and Miss Willie's class. I miss you guys so much. I hope you guys are doing really good and doing all your packet work. So this week we're working on germs and we have a cool book. It's called Those Mean, Nasty, Dirty, Downright, Disgusting, But Invisible Germs. Ew, ew, ew. All right, you guys ready for this? This is Rosa. She is five years old. One day when she was at school, painting the most beautiful picture of a rainbow, a mean, nasty, downright disgusting but invisible germ got on her hand. <gasps> the kind of germ that can give you an earache. And if you could see it, maybe it would look something like <gasps> this. Pretty gross looking, right? The next germ that came along while Rosa was building a space station with some cool wooden blocks like the ones we have in our room, another mean, nasty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ, the kind that gives you a headache. And if you could see it, it would look like this. <gasps> While Rosa was reading the most interesting story, another mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but a visible germ got on her hand. <gasps> the kind of germ that could give you a sore throat. And if you could see it, it would look something like, are you ready? This. <gasps> Next, Rosa was pretending to be all grown up when another mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting, but invisible germ got on her hands again. <gasps> and this germ could give you a really high temperature. And if you could see it, it would look something like this. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Then last but not least, the worst, most horrible, mean, nasty, dirty, downright disgusting germ got on her hand while she was driving her truck to Alaska. It was the kind of germ that makes you wanna throw up. And if you could see it, it might look something like this. <gasps> ah! Now Rosa's hands were covered with mean, nasty, downright disgusting, but invisible germs. <gasps> but thank goodness, Rosa knows exactly what she needs to do to get rid of those germs. What do you think she's going to do? Before lunch, Rosa washed her hands with lots of soap. And she scrubbed and rubbed and scrubbed them all bubbly. Yikes! Screamed the germ that could give you an earache as it went whirling and swirling down the drain. Foiled again! said the germ that could give you a headache as it went swirling and whirling down the drain. She's still scrubbing those hands. Whoa, cried the germ that gives you a sore throat as it went whirling and swirling down the drain. Oh no, screamed the next germ that gives you a fever as he went whirling and swirling down the drain. Keep scrubbing, keep scrubbing. Now, do you think that was the end of all those downright disgusting but invisible germs? Oh no. There was one more germ left behind. <gasps> the meanest, nastiest, dirtiest, downright disgusting, but most invisible germ of them all. The germ that makes you want to throw up. <gasps> it was hiding in the palm of Rosa's hand. Germs love wet places. And Rosa's hands were so wet from washing. And germs like warm places. Our bodies are always warm. But being the wonderful, intelligent child that Rosa is, she knew all about what those germs liked. So she carefully got a paper towel, dried her hands, made sure there was no water anywhere all over her hands. And you know what she did with that paper towel? She couldn't hear it. But that germ that makes you throw up said, I'll be back 
as she threw that paper towel, whoops, it didn't go in, threw it in the trash can. <gasps> Yay! Rosa's hands were all clean now. So she went over to the lunch table, picked up her peanut butter and jelly sandwich, or maybe her turkey sandwich, and with her clean hands, she took a nice big bite. Simply delicious, Rosa said. The end.